You've got to help me, Mr. Holmes. My name is Joseph, and something awful is happening. Some time ago, I created a beautiful, wonderful toy. It can dance and turn somersaults. Kids love it. So I set up a little company and started selling it. You know, just to bring home the bacon. Well, it was so successful, some guys decided to option a movie. They offered lots of money, and I thought, why not? But now I'm not so sure. As soon as word got out, some dreadful images began appearing all over the city. Violent, bloody images of death. And those movie guys don't like trouble, Mr. Holmes. I'm afraid they'll pull out of the deal. I spoke to the police, but they tell me these anonymous street artists are almost impossible to track down. But I did find this photo online. This mysterious woman. I think she may be the culprit. Please help me, Mr. Holmes. You're my last court of appeal, my only hope. Bored. There's no case here, John. There's no crime. Oh, but I'm forgetting. Graffiti is criminal damage. Boring. Come on, Sherlock. This guy looks scared. What if it's a threat? That's what the graffiti might mean. We have no evidence, John, and it's a mistake to theorise before you have all the data. It biases the judgement. Well, if nothing else, it's copyright infringement. Meaning what? Copyright infringement. You know, copying someone's work without permission. Not interested. What are you talking about? You're a creator yourself. You composed, didn't you? Composing only helps me think, John, and the work is its own reward. Well, that's fine for you, but not for Joseph. He had a fine idea. He worked hard on it, and, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. If you were a professional musician, you wouldn't want people copying and mutilating your work. And what about this girl in the photo? She looks like a ghost, like she could walk through solid walls. Good old Watson. That's as plain as the nose on your face. Look, enhance 224 to 176. Enhance. Stop. Change from nighttime to daylight. You see? It's nothing magic. It's just fluorescence, John. Caused by a protein called GFP isolated from a jellyfish which glows in the dark. The protein is composed of 238 amino acid residues and... All right, all right. Take it easy, Crick. I'll get it. In daylight, her air is actually just plain blue. Say that again. Take it easy, Crick. The other part. Just plain blue? Blue, John. Exactly. Centre in. Pull back. Stop. Look at the paint. There's something intriguing about the blue. That three-dimensional gem-like effect can be obtained only with natural lapis lazuli. Why would a street artist use such an expensive pigment when she could just use synthetic ultramarine? It's chemically identical, but much cheaper. What's she telling us? Is it some kind of code? I'm not sure I'm following you. Extract the colours. Isolate the blue. Analyse. There's no binder, no glue. Doesn't make sense. Because... Because without a binder, the paint shouldn't stick. So it's impossible? Impossible, John? No. But as I always say, once you've ruled out the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be true. Grab your coat, John. The game is on. <laughs>